Well, hi folks, this is Hugh from Asgard Studios. Um, one of the things I've been doing lately is modifying parts, um, 3D printed parts that is, for my quads. And one of the things I wanted to show you guys tonight was a tool called Tinkercad. And for those of you that are 3D experts, you know, by all means, this is, this is not the video for you. But for those of us just getting into 3D printing or those that maybe just want to modify an item to give a file to a friend to 3D print for them, then this might be useful for you. Um, I'm not a Tinkercad expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I did discover it the other day and was able to, in about 15 minutes, modify an item that already existed and create my, my own um, model, which can then be used to print for my drone. What I was wanting was a naked GoPro mount for my Flywoo Explorer that had a GPS um, slot on top. And there existed one on Thingiverse, but it just wasn't quite close enough. The GPS module wasn't quite wide enough. So what I had to do was go into something like Tinkercad and expand those dimensions just a little bit, just to make it fit the GPS that I've got. So that's what I'm gonna show you tonight. I'm gonna show you just very quickly how I did this and just some of the basic concepts of Tinkercad. And hopefully this encourages you to, to go give this a shot. So anyway, here we go. I gotta put my glasses on so if you see reflections, I apologize. <clears throat> okay, I hope all this is recording. I have no idea. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so this is the design I wanted to modify. This would sit on top of my Flywoo Explorer quadcopter and the, Go, the naked GoPro would slip into that slot and the GPS module would sit in this little box on top. And the reason it's going on top is to get the GPS away from interference caused by uh, things like the flight controller and the video transmitter and whatnot that are on the main circuit board and the main portion of the drone. So that's the reason to get the GPS up. There's other ways to do it. You can do it on a mast. Uh, you can put it on an antenna out the back. You can put it on a 3D printed section at the back. Some people have done that. But I really like this idea. I just thought it was nice and clean and simple and probably just high enough that it, uh, it would do the trick. But the problem I had was, as I said earlier, this the inner dimensions of this uh, box were not quite big enough. Not a problem. So what we do is we actually just uh, build a box on top of it. So let's tinker this. Okay, it's opening up. And by the way, this is all browser-based, so you don't have to download any software. Um, there's no fees. And it's designed for kids, so it's really simple and intuitive. Okay, here's our part in the, in the CAD system. Now, the one thing I noticed that was missing in here was an eraser tool. Like, how the heck do you, you know, reshape a little part or erase a part? So, Tinkercad seems to work on two concepts here. One is that you can take shapes, combine them together, and then they become one contiguous entity. Um, the erase kind of works like that as well. So I'll show you. So let's say I want to get rid of this box on top. I actually want to change the dimensions, but because this is all one solid piece, I don't know how to break it apart. So that's fine. I'll take a box. I'll drag it onto my workspace. And you just grab this little box up here to uh, rotate the uh, model around in three dimensions. Now, this cube is 20 by 20 by 20. I know that my GPS is actually 28 by 28 by eight millimeters. So if you just type in the dimensions, you can just switch it on the fly just like that. Oops, sorry, no, that's height, that's eight. And over here, it's 28. Okay, so that is the size of my GPS module. So what I need to do is make that space in there the same size. And uh, I wasn't sure if there was another way to do this, and uh, any of you pros, if you wanna tell me in the comments how you would do it, um, that'd be great. But the first thing I did was I moved this object down to the plane, down to the bottom of the plane, just so I could uh, make sure everything lined up. So this is what I did. I grabbed it by this node and pulled it down just so that it was flush. It's flush with that plane. Now you'll see it's on a bit of an angle. We're gonna change that as well. 
So we'll grab this little this little bar here. Whoops! What it does is it allows you to very carefully um, move it in any direction. You can also just type it in. Like for example, I could put here minus five degrees. I probably want something more. Or alternatively, you can just kind of grab it with your mouse or whatever. Oops. Minus twenty. Oh, too much. Minus fifteen. Perfect. That's perfectly level. Okay, and I'm going to grab that little triangular cone again and pull it right down until it's level with the, the plane. Oops, it's a little below the level. Pull that up a little. Pull that up a notch. Now, you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner, you can configure the grid to whatever you want. I've got it in millimeters, so I know that each one of these little squares is a millimeter, and I find that kind of useful. Okay, so there, there you can see is the original square. What I'm gonna do is, just to show you very quickly the concept of kind of merging two objects. Uh, let me grab, whoops, let me grab that square. And I'm just gonna slide it on top here, for example. Okay, and just look at it in 3D. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is select the two objects and just drag and highlight them both. And then we're going to go up here to Group. Now, you'll notice it becomes one single object. So in effect, it erased the previous, um, the previous cube, the previous rectangle that was there. Okay? So that's the inner dimension of the GPS unit I want to uh, I want to install. Now what I'm going to need to do is build something slightly bigger. So this will then become the recess. And to do that, we'll use the hole tool. So you can make something either a solid object or a hole. So let's back up one step. Let's make sure this is not. And make it larger than this. Let's say we make it two millimeters. So what we'll do is we'll size this box just a couple of millimeters in each dimension more than what this hole is going to be. And right now it looks like a solid brick and it is, but it's going to be a hole shortly. All right, so here we're going to say 30 millimeters wide. Oops. Just need to move things around here. And 30 millimeters wide. Whoops, that was height again. Okay. So eight. Eight is the height. We want two millimeters below, so 10 millimeters. Okay. Um, yeah, over here. 30 millimeters. Okay. So um, Okay, so I act, I've actually made this accidentally a hole, but I can just switch it to solid. So there, now it's solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this smaller cube, which is going to be the dimension of my GPS, as a hole. So we'll switch it to hole. We're going to drag it on top of the other box. Yeah, get zoomed in here. Okay, so you're going to put the box that's the hole on top of the solid box, and you're going to lower it down, and you should have, just double check that you've got solid at the bottom, I think in this case it doesn't, so pull this up a couple of millimeters. Okay, let me try merging these two, grouping these two rather. I don't want to group all three, just the two. Group them, and there we go. So what we've got is we've got a box that we can now use to replace this box. Pull that up a little bit. Okay, let's take a look. 
Now I could, I could make this a lot fancier and whatnot, but I think all I'm going to do is uh, merge these things here, just for simplicity. Let's merge them. Come on. Let's try that again. Group them up. And we've got one shape. Now, I do need to make little cutouts. You, I'm sure you noticed on the other one there was little cutouts for the cables, so I need to do that. Um, but essentially, that is all you need to do to, uh, to modify an item. Now, you may have to go a few, through a few iterations. If you print this out and you find the walls are not thick enough or whatnot, I don't know, you know, your, your specific use case. But um, that's the general idea of how to do it, guys. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. This is not the uh, not going to be the longest tutorial, but I just thought this Tinkercad was so useful that people ought to know about it, and uh, you know, and just be able to see just how easy it is to use. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.